Let's start new English as system a new file and uh, start with the uh, XY plane and start in rectangle two points option two points center option and then draw rectangle and add the dimensions finish the sketch and extrude in both directions and give a height of five units select ok to finish on top face uh, start new sketch and create that inside rectangle this time use three points rectangle and make sure do not select the center point because this is not exactly in the middle using the three points rectangle create the shape and add the dimensions for dimension to be aligned select the entire line and add dimension this one is three units by two and a half if this happens, uh, giving the vertical or horizontal dimension, change to align, right click and align, and then add dimensions. Add remaining dimensions, the location wise is as given starting point in that corner, it's going 1.25. Add another dimension on Y direction. Two point two five. Two point five, I believe. Two point five. Check with your assignment sheet. Meantime, you are working with this assignment. And add angular dimension by selecting the line and edge of the previous block and that gives you 45 degrees and that's fully constrained finish the sketch extrude with the height calculate from that face is going to be 2.5 no. On the face of this new box, uh, create another sketch. And this sketch represents the profile for that cut. So using the line tool, uh, adjusting on your screen, make sure that you have everything centered and it's clear to see. And then using the line and create that sketch profile. Don't be concerned exactly on the dimensions but try to your best to have profiles similar to that cut you may have uh, some issue with this as you're drawing this uh, may lock accidentally but should be able to add all those, those dimensions and with those dimensions should be fully constrained 0.75 is the base and 0.25 is the thickness and add in the remaining dimensions um, between those two 45 degrees and selecting the edges sometimes in angular dimension you may have difficulties to pick that pick the entire line if that and the location from this point that you're 0.25 and it's 0.25 for both directions that centers in the middle and and if you add another angle it would be 45 also you could use the symmetric option by creating the center line or you could do just uh, add both sides separately and now we need to 
move that to the proper location and add another dimension there. It seems like this line, the first line that I drew, is locked to some position, may not let you to fully constrain that because I already added another constraint, I believe. This can happen on this sketch. Uh, let me see, right now it looks like it's fully constrained, but shape is not correct completely. That tells us something on this one. There's an accidentally locked into some place. So what best way to solve that problem probably would be, let's zoom in this area first and see what we can do on that one. And you can delete one of the lines. That, causes the problem. It seems like that first line I drew is issue there. To delete, delete this line and start sketching again this time. Making this part first equal in the height, but that the open channel should be the same height. So now when you're sketching this, make sure it's not locked in a certain angle. That happens automatically gives the constraint. So you can redimension that again. And adding the also aligned between those two points with the horizontal relations and then add the dimensions. Now this should hopefully fix the problem. And that can happen all the time. So you make sure that you learn how to correct them. Sometimes it's much easier to start that sketch as you saw in this case. It's fully constrained now and it's both sides are symmetrical. And cut this uh, extrude cut and make sure that you set a cut through all through all okay that completes your model and we need to do a few things add in the holes for this hole we start with one hole on an upper left corner and uh, that would be any location there and add location dimension in this case given one for both directions and pick the edges I need to just get the pan and you can zoom and you can see clearly. Add in the uh, X and Y dimension location wise. Escape to get out of the pan tool. That's we need to do that. And, and then start selecting the edge or both sides is the same one inch in each each direction so and um then i picked something wrong there okay and now <clears throat> we we're going to use the pattern for this one rectangle pattern to create remaining of the holes select the feature which is hole and then select the direction one and um you can use this one you could repeat a hole four times but this is you have learned how to use the pattern before, so make sure you use that rectangle pattern. Now we have the three units between those spacing. And on the other direction, direction two, select the edges and then change the direction because going the wrong direction. And then spacing for this one is five, I believe. Yeah, seven is total, so one on each side would be five. That completes your model. That's basically, um, and you can check your mass, add in the material and mass on the general note. I picked the wrong one. General note tab, and then select the properties and mass. And also you add to uh, the note mass is equal or mass is max colon describe what it is and then next line press enter to start the next line by selecting the sorry the select material and then accept that.
change the properties to it's given on your handout sheet we're supposed to use the walnut wood in this case uh, update the mass and 